All right, so this is the project I've been working on, a uh, focusing rail. I'll show you that in a second. It's driven by a Raspberry Pi talking to a uh, A4988 uh, stepper motor driver with a battery pack so I can take it outside. And the way I control it is through this web interface. I don't know if that's going to show up. Uh, two interfaces, two units so far on this interface. One is moving the moving the rail, and how far I drag depends on how far how fast it goes. And show you how that looks to me. Let's see if we can look at the camera here. Let's do that. Alright, so I can see what's going on in the camera. And I can move in and out. Focus on what I want to. The little red highlights on the screen are what this camera calls focus peaking. It's the image processor chip focusing are highlighting what it believes to be the sharpest part of the image. So I'll just move the camera back until the closest thing to the front is sharp. We can kind of fine tune it if I zoom in. And I can pan around and get blurrier or not blurrier. There, and there we go. Then I just press this capture button. And there we go. So the Raspberry Pi now is telling the stepper motor to move forward about 0.1 millimeters. When it does that, it rests for a second. Then it uses an open source library called GPhoto 2 to talk to the camera over USB to tell it to take a picture. And it's going to be taking about 60 photos right now. very slightly moving forward each time. This particular process is kind of tedious. I have ideas for how to improve it. This is the fastest I can take photos using USB and GPhoto 2. Uh, there are other ways to remote control the shutter so I could take faster photos, but I haven't written the code to do that yet. You can see now that the focus area is more kind of towards the back of this tiny little bolt that I have the camera pointed at. And that's that. It's going to keep taking photos and then I'll dump all the photos off into uh, my computer and I use software to what, do what's called focus stacking, which is taking all those photos and lining them up, choosing the sharpest part of each image, and blending the sharpest parts into one single image. Uh, in photography, that's called focus stacking. There's software to do it. Photoshop can do it. Uh, there's a couple of uh, pieces of software out there. I think Helicon makes one. Helicon Focus is the latest one I've been playing with. Um, but there you know. This is it. This is focus stacking. It's kind of boring right now. This particular process does not work for capturing bugs outside, for example, because they move too quickly. So uh, the next challenge is to figure out how to make this process faster. All right, we got the photos offloaded from the camera. Uh, I shoot everything in RAW. You can also do this in JPEG if your camera doesn't support RAW or you shoot prefer to shoot in JPEG. Um, there's 58, uh, there should have been 60 photos. I don't know what happened to the other two. I must have misclicked. But if you look at various photos, the focus point is different for each of them. Uh, software that specializes in focus stacking like Helicon uh, makes this process pretty easy. You can choose your rendering method. Uh, most of the time for these kinds of photos, I use depth map and then I just say go. And it gives you kind of a real-time 
display of the kind of math it's doing to figure out the depth of each thing, figuring out how to align stuff and kind of produce the sharpest combined image out of everything. It's about halfway done now. Uh, this kind of process reminds me of the old DOS defrag where you kind of watch it do its thing. There we go. So you can see on the left was one of one of the original images where the screw was the screw in the back was in focus, but the front was not. But the combined image here is uh, the sharpness of all the images combined. And because all of our images are pretty close together, it uh, makes a pretty nice sharp photo. You can see the gradient of sharpness where it's blurry here and then goes to sharp and then blurry again. So you can see how the distance, essentially the camera traveled while it was taking photos. That's that. And that's how, that's how we produce uh, stacked images.